Hey guys, you only see the founder of Eduloader. Welcome to the June update. So in the agenda, as always, I'll go through the results for the prior month. Uh, I'm gonna go through our new NRL AFL Momentum Alerts membership that's just launching now. Uh, and I'll give an update on the, the bookies freezing accounts, which, uh, which we've covered over the last few months. The results in May, racing to just over 2,000 profit, a little bit under our long-term averages of more like three grand. So, you know, a little bit underperforming there. Uh, same game multis, 1,800, uh, pretty much in line with expectations. Bonus bet tip conversion, just over 90%. We'll, we assume 90% in our results. Long-term, we convert more like 100%, but um, that's what we converted at. And momentum alerts had a, essentially a flat month there. Detailed results, just going into the day by day sort of breakdown. Main reason is just to give you a bit of an idea, especially those not familiar with um, the sort of good luck and, and bad luck runs we can have because it's all about just chipping away and the edge comes through. But sometimes you have great runs and sometimes you have bad runs. So started just sort of steadily, you know, a bit of a quiet run through here, then a big run here. Um, and then, you know, a little bit of a quiet end to the month. Same game multis, more stable. There weren't too many big down days. Bonus bet conversion, again, just to those not familiar, we assume 90% conversion in our results. Long term, we convert more like 100. Uh, this last month converted 90.3, had 152 tips, 18 winners. A little bit prop, a little bit of profit there if you're backing them with cash. Um, but yeah, so pretty, Pretty average, average, a standard month, I'd say, for the bonus bet conversion, maybe just a tad under our long term averages. Then the Momentum Alerts membership was a flat month. I mean, 0 0.6268 units off a large base is, is essentially zero. Uh, had a really bad start to the month here and then worked it back to square. So we started here, got hammered, stable, then uptick late. The most noteworthy thing with momentum alerts is, again, rugby league and Aussie rules are, are where the, the big edge is at the moment. So they performed phenomenally. Uh, so that was $1,000 of profit in rugby league, which assuming $50 units, which is what we assume in these results, is 20 units. Um, and Aussie rules was nearly, nearly two grand. So probably like 35 units or something. So that was... The standout, and they won at 12.3% profit on turnover. Second thing, yeah, so I mentioned that, um, well, a bit of background first. So Momentum Alerts, we've been running this for about six months, um, not really doing much marketing about it. We're really testing the product and, and trying to work out what's what's the best way to go about it. The feedback that we're getting, uh, key things, one is um, we had a lot of a lot of signals. There are probably about fifteen hundred to two thousand signals a week. It's obviously pretty overwhelming. We we have other things to do other than betting, uh, so that's that's one. Number two, some of the markets that we're targeting aren't high liquidity, so the the prices go pretty quickly, and the betting limits are pretty small. So, given the high volume, low liquidity sort of issues that we've had, uh, what we're looking to do is target the higher higher profit on turnover sports NRL AFL. And so there are going to be less signals because we're targeting NRLF. So it's less overwhelming. We're targeting NRL AFL, which is the higher profit on turnover sports. And, um, and they're, they're, the liquidity is solid in those as well. So we're not picking off player props and those sorts of things. Um, so that the, the members will be able to get a lot more down. In terms of expected profit, if you're missing half of these 100 signals um, a week, so you're getting 50... Uh, you're getting 50 bets at $100. That's five grand down at 4% on turnover. We'd expect the average member to make it about make a, about $200 of profit a week from this new membership. And in terms of pricing, $50 a week, but you can use this code to make it 25 bucks a week for the first five weeks. So we're launching that today, actually. So any questions, let us know. The link will be in the, the email. Uh, sorry, the, the description of this video. And finally, just a quick update on... The bookies freezing account saga. So the latest updates are that it's still happening, um, but specifically some of these bookies, these smaller bet makers bookies in particular, are sending emails like this. We've detected some suspicious activity. Uh, some might say we've de we've suspect we're suspecting fraud on your account, and these are legitimate accounts, by the way. Um, and what's happening is. They're just freezing your accounts unless you, do, you provide all this ridiculous documentation 
who knows what their cyber policies are as well. So that's that's a bit of an update. They've, some of them have in their T's and C's that um, if they detect fraud based on their own um, view, if they reasonably detect fraud, and they're then they're able to freeze your account, which is obviously a bit ridiculous. If you're still having trouble with any of this um, or you've got any insights, please please share it with us so that we can share it with our, our members and our community. So that's an ongoing saga. So that's the end of this month's video. As always, uh, we run this comp each week. You can win $100 of cash just for asking a question. So ask a question in the comments about the topics that I've discussed in the video today. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And also, as usual, if you've got any questions, email us here or message our, our trading team on at EdgeLoader on Telegram. Thanks, guys. Cheers.